Hey all, yes you see it, the 1.5 Gundam, and this is Yusep. Uh, today a bit in the style of too old for toys. Uh, only I blabble, I blab a lot more. So anyway, I'm going to be unboxing one of my new Gundam build kits or Gun Plus. Uh, this is from the. Double uh, O series, the 1.5 Gundam, uh, one in 144 skill model, high grade uh, model kit. Let's move this one back a bit. Ah, uh, now I really like the looks of this kit. Uh, it looks very unusual, very sharp. Um, the purple in it, also a very rarely used color in Gundam kits. Um, in terms of background, I really don't know much about this one. I know it's linked to the Reborn Gundam, and that it's a form of a mass produced Gundam suit, unlike most uh, kits. Which of Gundams which usually are customized and unique Gundam, this is a mass produced one. Uh, I said it's of the 00 series, but where in the series it comes from, I don't know because as far as I know, there are now more than one series and a movie, so uh, where it exactly comes from, I don't know. Uh, probably it says it here, but <laughs> I can't read Japanese. Uh, so let's go into some details. Oh, well, this is quite nice artwork. Uh, I really, really do like it. Bandai. And Gundam and Double O. Let's see, this side. On both of these flat sides, it's the same artwork. Here, some information in Japanese. Uh, as you can see here, this is the barcode. Uh, people unfamiliar with kits, this last number, 1800, uh, is the, as I understand it, the suggested retail price in yen. Uh, divided by 100, uh, and you get, I believe, the dollar price. So, this would be equivalent to 18 euro or 18 dollars uh, in euros it's even a bit less about 15 uh, but then you get import costs and all the other puha uh, sadly for the few kids which I've got in this time I had to pay 20 euros extra yay uh, yeah in terms of mass production as you can see you see multiple of them here so Some good ideas of the kit. I'm not sure if this is with only everything which is in the kit. It seems like added Gundam markers, but I'm not sure if this is with added paint as well. And that, that's one of the things which actually bothers me about Gundam kits. Usually, there isn't actually any sh sign of the unpainted kit on the box itself. They only show really completed kits, which is a bit disappointing. They, they really should be honest and display what the heck you actually get inside. Uh, some information about uh, the Gundam itself. Uh, it's 23.3 meters tall and weighs 68.9 tons. Um, various weaponry but I can't read it just the GN and I know also they use GN engines or something which creates a lot of energy but <laughs> the rest the pilot uh, life and the last name I really can't pronounce I tried it several times before but I really cannot pronounce it uh, recitativo 
and I'm quite sure that's not the way to pronounce it. Yeah, same artwork again. Uh, and some uh, showing off the various specialties of this kit. Uh, it focuses heavily on improved articulation, uh, like a double jointed knee, uh, swiveling feet, and all that other goodness. Uh, this last one is actually a bit more of interest. Um, as you can see, I'm not sure if it's focusing well enough. There's actually uh, two sets of stickers for the head uh, so you can customize it uh, as you can see there's a 1 here and a 1.5 up here so if you want to build the 1 Gundam without the backpack as I understand it it's with red eyes if it's the 1.5 with the purple backpack then you should use green ones but uh, I just use it uh, to customize as I see fit I actually prefer the green eyes over the red ones even though the red ones do prove to be a lot more uh, contrast as I just see on this picture uh, especially in the eyes so I might actually be tempted to use the green forehead crystal and the red eyes so combining them makes it a bit more interesting so Let's see what's in the box itself in terms of uh, plastic. First one, just one tray with various colors uh, and the sticker sheet. What's of interest, it has a clear beam saber. Uh, usually you have a red one or a green one. And I'm aware this one should have an orange one, but we get a clear one, so you can paint it however you want. This is nice. Stickers themselves, as you can see here, you see the various options for the eyes and the two crystals on the front and the back of the head. Uh, these are purple uh, stickers for underneath these, uh, which is very nice. Uh, so I might paint it but yeah these are metallic so it has a better effect I'm not sure these ones all these black line stickers I'm going to pass up on I'll use uh, my trusty Gundam marker for those uh, which, which will look way better in my opinion there is a lovely purple in this kit I'm not sure if I can show it properly but it's a delightful purple color in my opinion uh, it's not too dark, not too light it's just... Uh, it makes me tingle <laughs> uh, that sounds wronger than it is um, no, it's, it's a coloration which to me really looks good uh, I'd wish they'd use this color more often but then again, I really like uh, these minty type of colors, like mint green, mint blue. Yeah, I'm quite sure that's the wrong wording for it in English, but oh well. And these lighter pastel colors, I really like them. A couple of uh, spruce uh, with armor parts, legs, shoulders more of the legs and shoulders I think these are mm, it looks like two identical sprues yes two identical sprues and here three more in the this one a grey one mostly with joint parts uh, the GN whatever probably rifle or beam cannon or whatever it is it's probably GN <laughs> and more I cannot really say about it uh, underneath a sprue filled with polycaps 
uh, for those that not knowing what polycaps are, polycaps are a different kind of plastic which uh, has way less friction to it, or at least, uh, no, no, I'm saying that wrong, not less friction, it actually has more friction, but it still allows for better joints, I'm not really sure how to explain it properly, but uh, let's just say this plastic on this plastic uh, makes for uh, way worse joints, which, which are very a hard turn but with polycap in between it goes fairly smooth and uh, when put in position it stays put quite well except for hip joints usually and those can be a bit weaker and a full on uh, one with this delightful purple and the booklets of course uh, showing the animation model as far as I can see same artwork as on the box itself yeah it's giving probably the backstory here of the Gundam itself but yeah I can't read Japanese so no real use for it uh, a color guide uh, some of the other Gundam uh, of the series and how they relate as it seems so, um, the Nadle, the Virtue, uh, and somewhere around this, this, these are all links. And the 1.5 Gundam uh, links also to the Reborn Gundam. Only on the backside of the Reborn Gundam, you get this one. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure what to make of it. Uh, and these also... Yeah, I, I really should look at the series to actually understand what it's all about. Uh, weaponry... Yeah, here, here I show the purpley of the orangey fight. Uh, Beam Saber. I don't actually have any form of clear paint, so I'll have to keep it clear for the time being. Perhaps someday I'll get correct paint for it, or I'll learn how to make it out of normal paint. I'm not really sure how it's done, so. But uh, there are plenty of tutorials on the internet for that. The various weapon modes. All Varun Cannon, Binder Rifle, GN Buster Rifle, GN Beam Saber, and the GN Shield, and all the other stuff, the side stories of Mobile Suit Gundam 00, and some other of the kits. Reborn Gundam is a flight interest, I like the strong red and of course uh, how everything should be built which is quite a lot so I'm due for quite a bit of work to get this one completely built and I'm looking forward to it once I've completed him I'm going to show it off this was Shusep See you all next time.